reporter Lauren Verno, who is live at Orange Park High School. Their school bell rings at about 7.15, and Lauren, you toured both the middle and high schools to see some of the changes the district's making on an attempt to keep the, to keep the students and teachers safe. Yeah, that's what it's all about this morning. Good morning, Bruce and Mel. So we're here at Orange Park High. We're gonna, we got a tour inside here, but I first wanna take you to Green Cove Middle School because logistically, the moving around in classes is where you're going to see that major difference throughout the day. So go ahead. We went inside Green Cove Park Middle School and the hallways, they're all just now that one way. Students will not be allowed to move in different directions, avoiding that face to face contact. Now, little arrows are going to be on the floor. They're meant to help students navigate and posters like these reminding students to social distance. They are pretty much on every wall when you turn. Now, lockers will also be off limits this year to avoid any cross contamination. Overall, though, teachers we spoke to say they feel really ready to be in their classrooms again. I feel very comfortable with the plan that's in place. I think they reworked it a thousand times. Um, but if I didn't feel comfortable, I know that they would be receptive to a concern that I had. And we may have something that comes up when the students show up on the 25th. But I know that we can meet any challenge. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, I do take you inside Orange Park High School, and I speak to the principal because we've seen those images of high school students bottlenecking in the hallways. I ask him what his response to make sure that doesn't happen come 715 when students return back to campus. For now, reporting live in Orange Park, Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.